Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and inside of this unboxing video we are checking out Tiny Epic Pirates today. This comes from Gameland Games and you'll see here on the table we have the base game and we also have an expansion to check out. It's worth mentioning the deluxe version of the base game on the left hand side is what I'll be opening up today and this is part of a Kickstarter that fulfilled last year and this year as of right now actually Tiny Epic Dungeons is what's actually delivering currently. Really excited to see that in the future as well but this was their prior entry in the line of tiny epic series that most solo gamers are familiar with as there's a whole bunch of them across many different themes in Tiny Epic Pirates, you helm a notorious pirate ship in the swashbuckling days of yore. Guide your ship and crew through the unforgiving seas in search of fame and fortune. Plunder settlements, trade booty on the black market, hire scurvy crew members, and avoid the ever-vigilant Royal Navy. Be the first pirate to bury three treasures, and you can declare yourself the most nefarious dread pirate of the seven seas. When you first open up the base game box, you're gonna notice the beautiful artwork on the inside of the front cover of the box. And you're also gonna run right into the rule book. On the inside of the rule book, you're gonna see all the components that have been jam packed into this very tiny box. And there's a lot in here, hence the name Tiny Epic, as most of us are familiar with that. All the components laid out here, and you'll see a prologue and the resources section in front of you. Now to get Tiny Epic Pirates to the table, you're gonna go through about 11 steps of setup as depicted on these two pages. And following this, you'll go through a number of pages inside the rulebook to help you understand the gameplay and the rules. You'll see your turn broken down the left here, choosing your captain's order, assigning your deckhands. This will continue all the way down to about page 17 where the solo play is broken out. This is what I really want to focus on inside of this video. It states that in a solo game, you compete against a legendary pirate with a unique personality. Be the first to bury all three of your treasures and you win. So in terms of how many treasures you have to do, exact same as what you'd expect. However, in this setup for solo, you're actually setting up the game as normal, but for a two player game with the following changes that are listed out here, one through four. When you take your turn as a solo, player you're going to do everything as normal but there's just one change to make note of the following two pages go into further detail on how your solo pirates term pans out you have the solo wheel the legend action you have solo pirate sales and then executing an order you also have a section here devoted to burying treasure and of course, it wouldn't be a pirate game if you weren't able to attack, and this game absolutely has that buried in there, so there's a whole section around the solo pirate attack at the very back of the rulebook. Here are all the bags of components that came inside of the box. We're going to leave the rest of the stuff in the box for the very tail end of this video, but we're going to focus right now on going through these components, taking a look at them up close. We've now reached the bottom of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the remaining components inside.
And that's going to wrap up the unboxing for the core game of Tiny Epic Pirates. Now let's check out the expansion. Every sea dog has heard the legend of the ghost pirate Amdiak, whether it be a drunken tale in a port tavern or from the scurvy lips of a weathered deckhand, the ghost ship and its cursed treasure is a sea tale no more. In a risky maneuver, you have stolen a piece of Amdiak's treasure, and now he and his terrible ship have risen from the icy depths to reclaim it. But avast as the old legend goes, Amdiak remains in sealed urns B, bury in damned soil, set his cursed soul free. Here is what you'll see when you first open up the expansion and beyond just the cover, having some gorgeous artwork in the center, it's worth mentioning that these top trays or covers of the game can easily be used as a dice tray for the gameplay itself. Most people that have been playing Tiny Epic Games up to this point know this, but it's certainly worth mentioning. And on the right hand side here, we got a number of components to go through, but first let's go through the Ghost Pirates code. Inside the booklet, you have a prologue, you have new game objective highlighted there in the bottom left and additional expansion setup steps that you'll need to go through in order to get this set up. The rule book itself is gonna follow a similar style and layout to what you saw in the core game. I'll go ahead and skip towards the back end of this book. Jumping ahead all the way to page number 10 is where you're gonna find the solo play specifics where you can choose your mode. You can choose the regular solo pirate or you can choose the solo ghost pirate. And similar to the base game rulebook on the very back, it sums up the rest of the solo play rules. You can go ahead and pause the screen across any of these in order to read them in detail. Heading back inside the box, here's the components that come inside this expansion. Let's take a look at them all up close. If you'd like to immerse yourself in Tiny Epic Pirates that much further, there is a full playmat for the game, which you can pick up, and I have seen in retail already. And you can see there's different slots for all of the different cards that come inside the game that we've just gone through. I'll also give you a shot of the top of this playmat as well. Way up the top, you're going to have areas for all of your different tokens. You got Surefire, Ghost Wake, Urn Tokens, Cursed Gold Cubes, Crimson Silver Cubes. All of them have their own spots up at the top, of course, and you have the larger world below it. There's also official game mats for each of the players. Now, if you're playing solo, you're only going to need one, but if you pick up one, you need to pick up all four. So that would be the only con there as a solo player, is you'll have more mats than you might actually use for gameplay. But if you plan to play this in a multiplayer capacity as well, then you're going to be all set. I'll give you an idea as to what one of these looks like as they're all identical. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up this unboxing for Tiny Epic Pirates, as well as the expansion and a number of additional accessories you can pick up for this game. Really hope this helps you make an informed decision on it. The game is out there in the wild. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep on rolling solo!